For more on this, let's go ahead and bring in Niku Madusadan, who you just heard from in that story, who thinks this is the strongest evidence yet of possible life outside our solar system. He's a professor of astrophysics and exoplanetary science at the Institute of Astronomy at the University of Cambridge. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. No, thank you for having me here. Uh, well, we're very excited about this because you call this a revolutionary moment. What's next in your research here? Yeah, I mean, uh, primarily because, you know, this is the first time we have demonstrated capability to detect these kinds of molecules. Obviously, we are seeing tentative signs right now, but the next steps are put more observations on this planet to see if the signal we are finding is real. And if it's real, it's a big, big um, a development because these molecules, as, as you've heard, are only produced by life here on Earth. And even if they're not produced by life elsewhere, it shows that we can detect such biosignature, candidate biosignature molecules on other planets. So that search has come that much closer. It's just absolutely fascinating. You know, when many people think of life on another planet, and look, we've seen those images from movies. We just showed some from ET, for example. Explain to us what exactly this life could look like. What, what would differ from what we think we know? Yeah, so, so we can only go based on what we know here on Earth. So these molecules are produced primarily by microorganisms in the Earth's oceans like phytoplankton. So that is our baseline assumption that if it's an ocean world out there producing molecules like this, then the kind of life we are talking about is simple microbial life, um, like existed in the very early Earth oceans and still exists. Um, we are not uh, able to comment on how complex that life can get at all, but even the fact that we can detect um, such molecules from simple life potentially would be a major development because that would be the first hint of uh, life being possible elsewhere. Absolutely. And as we said, this is about 120 light years away. So is it even, even possible for humans to, to get the chance to potentially meet other life in space if it's that far away? Yeah, so no, we are not talking about going there anytime soon at all. <laughs> <We're> just, <laughs> we are just saying that we have the huge technological capability that uh, thanks to NASA and other space agencies have this JWST, which is just a, a, a great machine for us to probe these atmospheres from that far and establish some of these conditions. Well, I think all of us will be following your work very, very closely on this planet and perhaps even beyond. Nikko Madusadan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you.